All right, so maybe you see this term 3DES on your study guide, or you're into cryptography, so you wanted to know more. I went out and found this uh, blog called 3DES is officially being retired, so I'll go ahead and read through this with you. It's by Jasmine Henry. Why does it say guest? Is she a guest on this operating system? A guest on this crypto math, crypto mathic blog? The cool design right there. Well, she says that according to a draft guidance published by NIST on July 19th, 2018, the triple data encryption algorithm, who I've never seen it in that format, um, this data encryption algorithm is officially being retired. The guidelines propose that after a period of public consultation, 3DES is deprecated for all new applications and usage is disallowed after 2023. All right, so if you see it on the test, maybe the point is that it's old and no good. Now, a little background on this. It was first introduced in 1998. The algorithm is still broadly adopted in finance, payment, and other private industries to encrypt data in transit and data at rest. All right, so the question is, what is 3DES? used to encrypt? The answer is data in transit and at rest. Now you're not just encrypting the data, you can also be encrypting EMV keys for protecting credit card transactions. Ah, so a third answer to this question. The proposal to formally retire the algorithm is not entirely surprising, especially considering historical movements by NIST. Now just as a review real quick, NIST is the National Institute of Standards and Technology, you could go to nist.gov. They have a cybersecurity uh, section, apparently a chemistry workbook section as well. But this might be a site I will uh, want to go over in other videos. But for now, let's focus. Historical movements by NIST include the AES, aka Advanced Encryption Standard, which was introduced in 2001 to replace 3DES. So here's your question, what algorithm was designed to replace 3DES? There we go. Now DES is what 3DES was originally based on, so this is in 2005. So it looks like in baseball in 2005 we had the Chicago White Sox playing the Houston Astros. And does this mean they won four games in a row? The MVP was Jermaine Dye. Alright, so that's how old we're talking when we say that 3DES came about in 2005 as a replacement. So that's when DES was replaced, but 3DES was announced to um, be replaced in 2001 by AES, but it was still, is still being used, or at least the two key variant of 3DES was retired in 2015, that's a very long time. So this thing is just, uh, is it just slow to die? When 2017 NIST as an organization, um, it looks like they ramped up their emphasis on retiring it because of security analysis and practical demonstration of attacks on 3DES. And then a little later, you know, July was here, November is here, uh, NIST restricted usage to 220 64-bit blocks. So that's eight megabytes of um, data using a single key bundle so that it could no longer effectively be used for TLS or IPSEC or large file encryption. So NIST restricted their usage so they couldn't be using it for things that are very large. So I wonder how powerful this organization NIST is. Well, to clarify some of their terminology, a deprecated means the use of the algorithm and key length is allowed, but the user must accept some risk. Disallowed means that, you know, what we just read, disallowed means that the algorithm or key length is no longer allowed for the indicated use. So you're not allowed to use that here. All right. Well, the designation of major encryption algorithm as a security risk has implications to U.S. federal institutions and vendors subject to NIST guidelines. This announcement is also reflected on best practices for institutions in the finance industry and could impact PCI cryptography recommendations. All right, so the triple data encryption algorithm, alternatively referred to as triple DES, is a symmetric key block cipher, so symmetric. I see symmetric, I think, smile nervously because that's not public key cryptography, but at least you're smiling because it's a fast kind of cryptography. Well, the key block cipher applies the DES cipher in triplicate by encrypting with the first key, decrypting with the second key, and encrypting with the third key. Alright, so that's three rounds of encryption. 
Now, why 3DES is likely to be disallowed after 2023? And remember, disallowed means you cannot use it for its indicated use, which is cryptography. Um, they say, she says, that it is a cipher suite based on the data encryption standard developed by IBM. Ah, oh, so now we know somebody to blame here. Well, they developed it in the early 1970s and adopted... Ah, uh, that sentence is rough and kind of broken grammar. But they're saying that DES as a standard has been around since then, not 3DES, which they say here is introduced during a period of transition from two major algorithms. In 1997, NIST allowed a formal search for candidate algorithms to replace DES. 2003, AES was released with the intention of coexisting with 3DES until 2030. Hit <laughs> the plans of mice and men. But now 3DES's retirement is accelerated by research which was revealed which has revealed significant vulnerabilities. Down here they say the Suite 32 vulnerability was made public by researchers. Sorry, I cannot pronounce these names. But this research exploited a known vulnerability to collision attacks in 3DES, other 64-bit block cipher suites which are greater during lengthy transmissions. It also exploited the exchange of content files and exploited or exploited transmissions vulnerable to text injection. Would be interesting to see how that works. So I would ask what three types of vulnerabilities exist. We can start from the bottom and work our way back. So there's um, when transmitting, there's a vulnerability if you can um, inject text. There's a vulnerability when exchanging content files. I might just say files for an answer. And there's a vulnerability when you have lengthy transmissions. All right, so the five-year timeline proposed by NIST to disallow the use of 3DES could present challenges for the industry due to non-upgradable infrastructure. I don't, what? Is it non-upgradable or are they too cheap to do it? Billions of credit cards in circulation and potential interoperability issues. Like, I think these things can be solved. Are they cheap? No. I guess ultimately the customer will pay for it. So how about this question? What challenges exist in 3DES's uh, deprecation? And am I using deprecation correctly? I think not. It's not just deprecated. It is outright being disallowed. Disillusion? What is this word? How about that disallowment? Do I get a squiggly line? I think I'm good. So the answer is simply that it's expensive, but if you want to be specific, the challenges are there's non-upgradable infrastructure, um, there are billions of credit cards in circulation depending on it, apparently, and then there's a potential interoperability issue issues to worry about. Next paragraph mentions, you know, network environment and cloud. These are the organizations that should be uh, aware of 3DES's disallowment. And look here, I mean, there is a solution. Just use AES, that's what it's saying. And AES is symmetric key encryption too as well, right? Symmetric, like speedy, but not public key. The A is does not stand for asymmetric. The A stands for advanced. All right, so if we can rely on Wikipedia, there it is confirmed that AES is a symmetric key algorithm. It's not the key agreement algorithm the encryption algorithm. That part kind of tripped me up in um, understanding cryptography. Okay, so let me read this and then be done because it uses a cool word, crypto agility. So they talk about inertia, talk about accepting the business risks of deeply embedded cipher suites. Everyone likes to talk about the threat of quantum computing on the horizon. But the point of all this is that organizations need to plan for cryptographic agility to facilitate transitions to quantum resistant algorithms where needed in the future. How about we just get regular algorithms working first? Is AES gonna be the next 3DES? Which of those two things will happen first? Quantum computing or retiring AES? So let's end this reading on a cool uh, concept. Solutions for cryptography as a service enable organizations in highly regulated industries to protect uh, business critical data with globally compliant solutions for encryption. Is that what CAS would be? Cryptography as a service? Nope. CAS gets to be communication as a service, so they're going to have to come up with something else. Or maybe CRASS? How about that one? Okay, at first I was going to say business, but let me just end right there. How would cryptography as a service help? It could help just your average person or businesses. However you answer it though, just remember that this 3DES does not work.